Thank you very much, Paul. Oh my goodness, Winter, we're doing it. It's actually happening. We have a Meepo for the first time in this tournament. Mm -hmm. Bottom lane, Feppy again is just farming up a couple of these camps. There's a rotation that's coming in from the Spirit Breaker. Doesn't seem that likely to translate into anything of significance as, well, a little bit of damage down to Yap Star. Feppy getting very up close and personal in the mid lane as well. They're gonna go now onto the Viper. Trying to blow them up. Ace drop so low, but isn't gonna end up falling as he walks away on five oh, HP. Ace somehow is finally gonna be brought down. Oh, Lordy, that was very close, but they do get a return kill at the very least. Yep, Monkey King still chasing down Dubu on the Disruptor here. Pops the Shrine, still gonna go down. Win a fight before night time. Oh, God. That would be so big for them. This is a very good timing for him to get a blink just right they before the night. They just hit the scan as well, and so they're walking oh. forward. There's a the Boundless so. Strike, Dubu down as well. Are they gonna be able to catch him? They do get the glimpse away, so it's not gonna land with the charge. And it looks like, at least for now, they're looking to get out of here for the moment. Ace falls forward, but he's actually got the Blink Dagger canceled by virtue of that Thunder Strike. And the jump forward, QO, drop it low. Do they find a kill? No, the back! It comes out, Fata still able to secure the kill, and now trying to run them all down. Thunder God's Wrath comes out, Forever's gone. They've only lost the puck, a big Boundless Strike. Oh, the regen mid one, not quite able to live through that one though. Now MP getting ran down also. It looks like he is gonna be another one to go down here as Secret win big. What a play right there by Secret, getting the dagger right before the night fight, night phase. That's gonna help him a bit. Oh, charge up top. Is it time to go? Time to party? Yeah, can we get Roche though? Like Roche is very important, night time is gonna come. Uh, charge through, they found themselves one. That's gonna be the connection to follow. Static Storm down, but Karev actually able to get off the G card, but now turn it back around on the puppy. Kill him off the jump forward. They're trying to kill off Karev, and he is finally gonna be brought down there. Ace already on a killing spree. Okay, is that Rush? But at the end of the game, it's a 10 second BKB, so the troll I think is gonna be extremely oh, strong. Bottom lane, they're going, trying to find one. Troll is gonna be contained. They've got him locked down here, even in spite of that BKB. And if they wanted to, they could maybe even think about turning this back around. Well, Fata, didn't they gonna die the, as didn't well? Didn't they see the BKB? I thought they saw the BKB. I guess not. Apparently not. So they find themselves two kills, Spear Breaker and Puck on the tour, but look at the top lane right now. Ace is just hitting the tier three towers and looking for it. There's no turnaround at all. MP trying to run away. They're afraid of TP's getting canceled and MP is just gonna end up dying here as well. People doing a ton of damage. Ace does end up losing his Aegis, but can they find any more? Gapsor thinking about chasing this. They do have another Primal Spring forward and mid one trying to chase down this Viper. Will eventually be able to not quite Ooh, get him. Good silence there. His stun was almost coming off cooldown there. I think without the silence committed too much. He used his off and wasn't able to have it by escape. Oh, another pick here. Monkey. TP out. And not gonna happen. They break down that tree and are gonna kill off mid one. I think it's good though because they're gonna need the other cause to do damage because the troll he's expecting to be controlled even though he has bkb mm -hmm. the spirit breaker can control him with a charge and a another charge. oh, oh wait over break. to the side they jump in they blow up one Pepe already gone the static storm is now down on the hold of q of getting control boots are they gonna be able to blow him up no not quite ace is walking away from there they do finally bring him down but the damage might have already been done he is out for 80 seconds though and now secret they've got mp sort of stuck here in the coil but they can't really do much to him so it looks like with that, they're gonna back out. Please? Oh. All right, well, Puppy's just gonna try and run away from everybody and does have 10 stick charges, so Thunderstrike not gonna be able to bring him down regardless. Yeah, he's fine, because he doesn't really farm that fast uh, compared to a Mipo. Oh, look at this rotation, though, that's coming in right now from Secret. Yapsor mm, is walking up on the darkness? high ground. They're all oh, right no, down the area. They have no darkness. Another smoke is there. Fata's gonna break the smoke right at the start. They get the static storm, that's only under one. The Yule Scepter lift him up and keep him alive for the moment. Wukong's command comes out as well. They're able to keep QO under wraps, but Puppy still gonna be the one that goes down. Fata trying to back out of there. He's still alive. Meepo jumps forward, starting to bring them low as well. Can they get a kill? He's not able to stay on any one of these targets, but it looks like Kiwo caught here in the coil, as well as Dubu. They are going to be able to root, not breaking TPs, but MP oh may be going to be the one that goes down instead. Oh my god. Once again, look at the timing. Just before nighttime, Secret strikes again. Meepo just came in at the right timing to clean up. Really well played. Tier 3 tower, now in trouble, and actually Perez just steps forward and gets knocked the hell down! 
Viper's gonna have to buy back into this one. There is one Meepo that's separate from the rest of them, but there it's gonna be the E-Blade. Still taking some damage. They need to try and turn this back around. Keep Ace alive. Oh. Saving Private Danish Man, and he is eventually gonna end up filling down MP now. Is he gonna pay the price? It doesn't look like it. Secret, they don't have enough damage outside of the Meepo to make this work. Super Minister. Not a Minister. Immortals in the pit. Looking mm. for an opening. Now, they, Monkey King is up here both. on the high ground, and the orb is already going to go out. This is the battle. It's going to help to decide the game. They get the Boundless Strike already out. There's also going to be the Thunder God's Red Form. Fed before snapped away. QO turning to fight, but he's already used his BKB charge. They can't stick around here now. Lafada chasing. He's going to have a coil available. He jumps forward. They get the Hex. It's a good static storm down, but people already deal so much damage with the right clicks. Level 25. He's got all of the health oh, in the world, and they're all going to get torn that's up. Juju. They never stood a chance. That is GG. Roshan is done, and that's another BKB charge down. That fight, Ace just always waits, and he's so patient about his timing, like how he goes in. He waits for Immortals to commit, or the Spirit Breaker to create an opening for him. There's nothing they can do. Just... Well, QO, he gets Hex, he gets hit, he gets killed. Yeah, BKB, turn, fight, maybe, possibly. Was there a hope and a prayer, anything at all for Immortals? They end up catching with a bash and then eventually going to bring him down. Sure. MP got the kill and now also going to end up losing that Troll Warlord. Ace jumps forward and Ace is actually taking a little bit of damage right here. Coming out from the Viper Strike, but with that Wukong's command now following it up and Febby starting to fall. I mean, they're doing what they can. It's a hell of a hard one to make work, though. With Dooku eventually going to be ran down here. He does go down. GG is called. Well, this game is by far one of the best games of Dota I've seen. Yeah. Very, very good plays, like strategy wise, preparation wise, how they from the draft, the SPs use, had this good, cool idea against Immortals, how they move against Night Stalker. This is a tournament winning performance here by Secret. If they play like this, for a shit, uh, really are. Right, let's move on. This is getting ridiculous on this panel. Could someone bring me some analysts immediately? Uh, let's head back to the commentary team and see whether Secret can make yet another semi final. Thank you, Paul. I'm sure as hell not analyst, but I got one right here. He's the best in the business. Don't tell them I said it. But Winter, how you feeling? You were talking about the Bat Rider. They ended up banning out. Instead, it's going to be an offlane bounty hunter. Um, do you the people that's going to lose out, you know, if you stop moving first. So, but you don't have a choice here if you have Secret. You don't want the Blood Secret matchup against the uh, Monkey. QO. Yeah, and he's actually in the process of moving between lanes, but taking a hell of a lot of damage and oh, brought down. Fata. Fata makes the rotation also. Nowhere to jump to. QO. They needed one more char or a bash there to be able to find the kill, but not going to happen. Oh, and Puffy. Puffy? Is he going to end up going down as well? They're going to jaunt forward for this one, trying to block him off the Spirit charge. Breaker a little bit faster. And now the Puck in a little bit of a precarious spot of himself, Yapsor, almost out of mana. He doesn't have any way to regen that up either. And Ace trying to be able to find this kill, but it's not going to happen. They lose Ace. Secret getting caught out there. His team was very, very near him. So not oh. a very good decision by Secret. Nighttime kicks in. <sighs> Oh my god, look at QO. He made this jump so far, got the Jingu in the mid lane, and then chased down Zeus by the tier 2. That was pretty sick. Yep, very good rotation here by Immortals. And here comes Fabi, Nighttime. He wants to have a much more successful Nighttime compared to the first game. No, he's doing it again. QO is just bullying them behind the tier 2 towers. Alright, this is some Immortals Dota right here. and. Well, Secret just trying to keep their Blood Seeker alive, and they're going to be able to back out here. But again, nobody's in the top lane, and Febby's just getting free farm right now. What a game to be supports. <laughs> <laughs> you get the space to farm. Cost doesn't want to stay in the lane. They want to keep moving, musical lanes. I mean, stuff like this happens a lot in the current meta. People want to have that specific matchup they want for the hero. Well, and then you're going to have this. I mean, I, I haven't ever seen this, the, the, at least to this extent. Um, but Puppy is charging again onto QO. The Boundless Strike, not quite in time, so the charge connects. But nothing really is lost there either. Um, and, and I guess the hero that normally ends up coming out really ahead in this is the Nature's Prophet, because he can move around so much. But he hasn't really mm. been able to make a huge oh, presence felt since that kill in QO. Yeah, he's waiting for his level 6. He wants to get his ultimate up. And usually when the game is always this active, Bloodseeker tends to be really strong in the lane because everyone's getting low. But right now he's the one moving, so he has 
not gotten a good uh, sit situation to sit in a lane, get his last hit, get his damage from all the fighting happening. He's been forced into the jungle right now, and supports are taking the lane to just get some experience and try to, you know, help his team later. This is not very good for Ace at all. He's going to need a few minutes of me time getting in the, <laughs> finally in the jungle. No, it's not really something that's going to come easy either, because once you get level... Six on Bounty Hunter. Is this a type of bounty that's going to want to make moves with track at that point? Group up with yeah, this team? Yeah, for sure. You want to fight with the Night Stalker. Find pickoffs. Oops. Fabi's going to get spotted out by the creep here. Fata's uh -oh. going to try and TP. Doubt he'll be successful. There's a void. There's a silence. Yeah. There's a shriek and toss. super dead. So they find a kill here and get the silence. That's going to give Bounty Hunter his level six. So right now they're going to want to have a, a lane for their support Walking to get levels. Forward. Top lane, Fata, actually just going to die. So even though they were relatively low on kill, they still find that quick kill. So when is the bounty hunter going to come and fight? He's still farming. He wants to finish. I guess he wants to finish his drums. It's going to take a while, though. I'm not sure. I thought he was going to come to the top fight. There was like two kills there happening before. All right, Winner. I, I am getting okay, excited he's, right he's now. He's coming now. Here we go. I, I want to see him go for the damage talent and everything else this game. We'll have to wait and see if that's what they want to go for. Oh, but rupture. the rupture there onto QO. They're able to break it. Balance Strike still comes out. Only connects onto one. They are already able to bring down QO. MP also going to fall. Nature's Wrath, a hell of a lot of damage. Dupo in trouble. He's going to die also. And Forev, out of mana, does get a kill on a puppy, but it comes at a cost. And a Dubu also most likely to go down here. He does have uh, seven wand charges, but still taking a lot of damage and thirsted everything else. He's able to survive. For the exchange for like one, they only lost one of their heroes. Big, big, big sequence of events there for them. Here oh, comes Ace? Kill. Is Ace just dead? He gets silenced. Deny? Oh, he got the neutral creep deny. Well done. Now mid one, unfortunately, is going to be able to find that kill onto Febby as Febby just gets brought down and you know what I mean? Mm. Like I felt like maybe mm. if they would have timed it together all at the same time, they maybe could have killed him off, but... He was quite tanky though, he has two braces back yeah. then. Not sure if they had enough damage, but they're going to make a smoke. They really need to get the game going for them. Puppy, he's <laughs> going to be the one that's going to get gone on here. They find him right at the start. Yeah, Absor is able to be here as well though. Thunder God's Wrath, they spot out absolutely everybody. They are going to be able to blow a Puppy here, but Dubu also very low and the Bounty Hunter is dead. Mid one just walking aggressively in their direction. Do they have enough to bring him down though? The damage is is going to be there after the fact. That's going to be MP. Finish off the kill of his former teammate. Yep, very well time smoke there. When the fight Ace. started, it was nighttime, and Ace does not have a TP. I don't know if they can actually find this kill. They do have an orb as well as the coil, but not wanting to dive for the tower for that one. Charge. Oh. Going top, QO there. I, I don't think you want to complete this one, Puppy Ice. Just for vision, I guess. Uh, well, oh, oh. he runs into another hero that's giving him some vision now, Forev. Trying to chase him a little bit. Febby in the area also. Are they going to dive for this? They're already blowing up one. He's out of there. Other God's Wrath comes out, giving them the vision that they need. Not going to be able to find the kill with that Reaper Sight since they got the heals off as well. And now mid one in a hell of a lot of trouble gets torn up. Bound of Strike comes through and takes him down. Ace hitting hard, but not hard enough since they're always able to jump away from him for the moment, running on a billion miles an hour, and is eventually going to get hit by that splinter blast, but oh. Yapsor takes down QO. What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> He's just running like crazy. And eventually it hits, and it tickles. In the bottom lane, with the mid one Necro in the area as well, and now they're moving in, Puppy. Getting gone on. Febby is there as well. The Void doing a good bit of damage. Yapsor trying to create a little bit of separation. They get the Silence now down as well. MP, he's in position to chase this further. They've already killed off Puppy. The Bounty also there. The Coil comes down as well. Mid one caught. And it's in trouble. The Coil snaps as well. Can they find this kill? It's a track kill at least for one. And maybe now thinking about more. Immortal certainly not afraid to dive deep for this one. And Yapsor just getting ran at. Nowhere left to go. They take him down. And Secret there making the move during daytime, but unfortunately Night Stalker had his ultimate up, so he was able to turn uh turn into night, get an advantage. Oh. MP He is gonna get caught. That's a rupture, that's a phase shift, that's a turnaround, is it gonna be a kill? They do take down the puck, but can Ace get out of here alive? Can they continue to take the fight themselves? Immortal show up, Fata's here as well, puppy's gone! 
But are they going to be able to find any more? The big balance strike connects. He fought us down. And now Ace trying to run away. They've got the damage. Uh, and with the one. track bouncing, it's hitting. That's Yapsor dead as well. Well, sometimes when people run at you, it's good to run back. But they're moving over. But this might just be the death of them if they walk out here. Tubu in the area. They've got the Winter's Curse. This is a terrible fight for Secret. Are they going to be able to get out of here in a way? It doesn't quite look like it. The chase board Yaps are already gone. And now Min one left completely alone. They take down Puffy. They take down absolutely everybody. They do get off a Reaper Sight, oh. but Dubu is a liver. He just was able to call, uh, catch him out at the, at the end of his... Uh... But again, look up top lane and... Uh, Cancel of the TP, Absor? He's gonna pay the price, but this is split pushing that's going on in the top lane. Again, Fata making a ton of stuff happen. They're trying to TP again with a couple other heroes, and it looks like they are gonna be able to force them back. But that tower is down to about half HP. Fata, is he going to fall here? They also oh, get the curse. Winter's Curse up there in the bottom lane. So, Nature's Prophet finishes the Mjolnir. There's a big rotation in towards the Ancients on the dire side. Ace, Ace is here. They spot him out. There's going to be an immediate Shine. track already at the start. They turn back around, though. A big jump, but it's not going to be enough damage. And now the Winter's Curse thrown on top of the Monk. Okay, excuse me, on top of Ace. And he's brought down super low with the Wukong's Command. They already kill off another, and that's going to be Necrophos gone for 40 seconds. No buyback. No buyback on the Bloodseeker, either. He's out of there for 65 seconds. He's gone through. Two. Triple for QO. It did end up being a huge win for Immortals. And, and I mean, look at Yapsor. He's just getting dove underneath the tier 4 towers. They don't give a damn. Oh my god. I, I think it's this game. It's got out what's happening if you don't have a scan available. Oh, Febby. He oh. has the axe. He has the gem. They see everything. They've already caught on to Puppy and now maybe looking to try and take some oh, more. MP is there. Dog. He's got the coil. Gonna maybe break deep. No, he didn't catch mid F one. F he throws it in. a little bit too late. Is this not gonna actually end up working? He is alone. They're doing it. He's actually able to take it. That's gonna be a range barracks already almost completely gone. And you look at this. Ace is also going to get dismantled. So secret lose two. But they are going to get a decent chunk of damage. The problem is that there's no there's backdoor protection. Lose them the game. I think the rush where they decided to contest and lost multiple heroes. That was <laughs> oh my god, look at oh QO. My, he doesn't care. He doesn't care. He really doesn't care. He might end up caring though, he just loses the Aegis, but they do take down the Necro. No buyback for fifty seconds. So oh. he still has cheese. <laughs> Suicide mission completed and now the charge through, catches on Dubu. No, they end up breaking it right there. And well, Puffy in trouble. They've caught two with the coil. Ace and the poor nature's prophet. He's starting to hit his friends and they're going to get taken down now. The Wukong's command comes out. That's going to be Ace dropping low. They catch on the Yapsor as well, but not going to be able to run him down as of yet. Popping the blade nail on the bounty hunter. Not often seen, but much appreciated. Cold Embrace keeping him alive for the moment. Can they kill off Rev? It looks like the answer is maybe rupture there as well. MP dodging away from things, but the bricks are gone. They're about to be mega creeped, and Secret are going to have to take this to a game number three, most likely, as Immortals are just dominating this one. He said Ace does he still run pretty wants fast. To kill him. Look, look at this, this monkey here. He's still chasing. He's actually still chasing. He doesn't want to end the game. <laughs> Ace is like, just leave me alone. I want to be somewhere else in the world right now. Secret are actually holding on. Dubu is dead. Yeah, thanks to some Monkey King running after a hero <laughs> is so the game. triggered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They can probably just run in and just take a fight and kill them. Dubu getting charged. Thunder God's Wrath. They spot him. There's the Cold Embrace, though. And now Puppy trying to turn it. He gets Silas. He gets killed. And Immortals Ooh. going to walk at them. Fata in the meantime, Red Dota. he's starting to do some damage. They got creeps here as well. Do they decide to go for the tier fours instead? It might even be an option for them. Mid one, he catches for the moment, starting to bring him down low. QO brought down to about a quarter HP left as well. MP, he's down super low also. These heroes are still alive. They end up getting the Winter's Curse off as well. Fata is still doing damage to these barracks. They do finally get the mega creeps, but Immortals, I mean, they took down the Necro. He has buyback. They're waiting for an overextension right now, I would imagine. Febby, he pops his BKB, wants to continue to fight the Nature's Prophet, who is eventually going to be brought down. No buyback for him. 80 seconds. Ace can chase this if they want to. Dubu caught again. Yeah, mid one, no Reaper Sight. So they're not going to be able to have that big burst damage that they need to kill these heroes off. 
Secret on a hope and a prayer, trying to finish this one here, but it is too difficult. And with the Akinum's bounces as well, Puppy eventually going to get killed off again. He is buyback, 46 seconds, but it is feeling like a fool's errand here. Is Secret eventually going to be killed off and push this to a game number three as GG is finally called? Uh, two really good games of Dota. Two very good demonstrations of... Is he chasing Ace again? <laughs> yeah, two Ace. very good demonstration of uh, different, very different ways of uh, playing the game, how they approach the game, how they specifically tailored drafts against opponents. I mean, Immortals don't care, they just draft. I feel like Secret, uh, the Terror Blade is going to do a lot. The Necrophos is hard to kill here. I think that... Uh, and you forgot the most important part? It's opposite day. Yeah. I mean, they're already preparing to swap around again, though. Like you mentioned, Febby is up here in the top lane. He's already bought his TP scroll. Knows that that might be a thing yep. that he needs to invest in. But like we're talking about, Dubu running away from the App Store right now. They have the lift. They catch him as he tried to roll away. Dubu, a little bit of a scary spot now and going wow. to fall. What? First blood drawn by Puppy. Terabit's getting very good farm at the moment. 11 CS, top of the chart. Same goes to Doom, the Necro. Everyone is farming oh DP well. Top lane. Febby is just getting punched by this Hellbear Smasher. He almost got brought down very low, but it looks like we'll eventually die oh, in yep, the tower. In trouble. Yeah, yep. So we're going to be brought down very low, although you do have Metamorphosis and Reflection. also the Reflection. Able to slow him down enough. That keeps the Epsor alive. Wow. Ace, what a buddy. Well, can, oh, or use. Off. That is okay. going to be mid one in a lot of trouble. The roll, Dubu going to kick him back. A lot of damage being dealt in. Now, can't face shift rupture. Top, or rather bottom lane again. Fata brought low, but not dead. Forev. The only lane that's really, really in favor of Immortals is the mid lane right now. <laughs> Which Q was winning very handily. Another bounty Good is Dubu. <laughs> He's just, he's going to pay for this one for sure, but, uh, I mean, he's getting gold. Yeah, he's making it happen. Well, they do have those heroes in the area. And Terrorblade coming as well. Are they going to get the lift up? Forev? Yep. In trouble. They've got the catch. Do they have the damage? He has a Doom, but not going to expend it. Forev going to take a big moment kill. to think about things. Very big kill and very good rotation. Like every time when you switch lanes like this, then you can actually you can obviously Doom the Necro or the Pump. It, de it all depends on who gets the good jump, and they get a Doom here on well, Ace. That's a way to do it, and they're going to chase him down. Do they have anybody to keep him alive? Yaps are trying to pull one away. Can they get the deny? He's taking a lot of damage, moving into range. He doesn't quite get it. Oh, my God. Oh, they wanted it so bad. Terrorblade Neko, they're going to have to farm for some time. Yeah, I'm so oh, going to set lift. up a kill. This is pretty nice. They're also going to have the boulder toss after the fact. He doesn't get the blood right off, and now the silence follows. They get the kill with oh, the Necro Reaper kill. Sight. That was the perfect initiation. Now yeah, that big move. Does anybody really want to come and contest? Oh, it's Fata uh, that's here solo right now. He does have GPs? nine stick charges in the roll forward. Trying to catch him. They drop the Doom, the silence, the catch, the everything. Nobody is coming to help Fata. 20, 20 seconds. Necro has Shadowblade queued up as well. Not what I would have expected, but yeah, tier one tower in the mid lane starting to go down. They don't have wards here to help out uh, I'm against sure, it. I'm sure he's not serious. <laughs> Shadow oh, pull back in one. There's the rupture down as well. Trying to deal the damage. They already throw out the blood right though, and that's going to be Doom dead. Nothing really used oh, from him. But on the Jet Heal though, they're able to keep him alive. No, the silence. He wasn't quite able to get it off. And well, he didn't actually have Sunder leveled anyways, but Immortals win there, taking down the Terror Blade and only losing the Doom for it and also getting the tower. Yeah, huh. They need time. Pretty uh, much Secret needs time. And you look here, they're not going to be given that time. Dubu is going to roll forward here, connects onto Ace. They spot which one's the real one immediately. And that's going to be a dead Terror Blade. Febby, the one that actually ends up picking up the kill. And With the Blood Rage. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. I, I mean, is that a thing that you need to start thinking about if you're Immortals at this point? Like, yeah, moving definitely. over towards there? You want to get Roshan, for sure. Uh, with this lineup, you want to snowball. Since they... They are so eager to fight with all the builds that the heroes of Immortals going for. Oh, Dubu going to catch up Fata here? Yeah, he's caught him for the moment. Forever in the area with the Doom available. They drop it down. And nobody around. Chen on the other side the of the map. Can't do the setback. <laughs> Wanted it real bad, but <laughs> it's going to be denied. Taken away from him. 
Are they gonna be able to find more here? Secret on the retreat, but they've caught themselves. Spada also, he is a TP, doesn't want to really end up doing it. Oh, the Chen send back. Good play right there as well. QO gonna be pulled back in. The Dream Coil is already down. He's brought down very low. If they could burn through these Aegis, it would be quite good, but oh. Blood right stolen, trying to turn it, almost killing, almost getting him. They do burn through that Aegis. Big play right there, but it is gonna come at the cost of Spada's life. Excuse me, mid one's life. And also maybe kind of bad, but I'll take your word for it. I'll reserve judgment like Dude. the Shadow Blade Necro. Dude. Dude. 150 damage. All right. Well, that's a lot more than 150 damage coming up, puppy. So Necro's getting a day. Oh, oh no. he got caught again. He's going to need to dodge away from this one. Actually gives him the little okie doke and it's just going to walk away. All right. Oh, he's, uh, that's he's fine. He's actually fine. Ace knows what he's doing. Oh uh, god, they're chasing though. The stun isn't gonna connect. He's just going through the trees. Oh, Ace, the great escape. No, they oh, caught him. God, they break the TP. God, he's it. so, so sad. Man, to dodge Sunder. The turnaround. He's gonna kill them all. Forever. who are you fighting now? No, it's not gonna end up working. It might actually do, Boo. Taking some damage as well. Nobody else is really in the area. And while all this is going on, Fata takes down QO. They're reapplying Magnetize. He needs to just run and hoof it away from here. The Magnetize still ticking. 60 HP. Oh my god, he actually didn't rip. Okay, he's still All right, yeah, okay. MP is still gonna die or get the kill. Okay, so right now, Immortals, they are probably thinking what item should we get? Should we wait for the next Roshan before we make a next aggressive play? So, refreshers on the list of. Oh, Forex gonna get oh, a Doom? They got it down bottom. Going to be caught for a moment, oh, but now it's stolen. It was only going to be the Scorched Earth, though, and he's ruptured. So Forev in a bit of a scary spot as well. They're trying to pull him in. Puck is again going to get caught. The Force Staff, the turnaround, actually able to keep them back for the moment. Dubu's gone, and Puck is living through this. This is not the team fight that Immortals wanted in the least bit. QO pops his BKB, so a lot of damage being done, and now he's able to steal that Blood Rage. Oh, the turnaround, the damage! Ace is a monster in this fight! Meanwhile, top lane, it is going to be the Venomancer pushing this in, and MP going to maybe get caught out as well. Are they going to end up losing the Venomancer also? A lot of damage being dealt, and MP is going to go down. Winter. That is the fight that they are waiting for. They even get the send back onto Ace, so he's not going to die to the Gale and combo. Oh. I'm getting the HP back on the Bloodseeker as well, so he doesn't have to use the cheese, but he won't have enough mana for Radiant's the fight though. Do they have they don't have arcane boots, I don't think, yeah. No arcane boots, so two they... minutes till the Aegis is gone. QO walking forward. They're still throwing out these wards continuously. Gale is already down. Now the pullback in. Silence doesn't connect onto any of Secret. Yaps are walking very aggressively forward. He's gonna get Dagon, gonna get brought down low. The Yule Scepter lift up. Is he gonna be able to get out of there? They're able to purge and pull back down. Yaps are barely staying alive. Is he gonna live through it? No, Kyo was able to find that kill, but there's gonna be the Chen heal. Now they buy back on Yaps or Kyo's still with the Aegis there, keeping him alive. Now they find the Doom. That's Chen gone for 50 seconds. No buyback on him. Very low and are going to end up losing Fata. He has buyback though. That's the Aegis already expended. Tier 3 tower is down as well. Now they got the Doom, which was stolen and turned back against the Bloodseeker. No way to use those cheeses that are in his inventory. He's moving so fast, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. They're able to get that Sunder off. And now MP also starting to fall low. Fata needs to stay alive here. He gets the Reaper Sight. He can't find no the cheese. The Doom are on Fata. He wanted it so badly, but he wasn't able to get it. It's not going to be enough. QO was able to outlast the duration of that Doom. They weren't able to get the Reaper Sight off. And immortals are going to win that fight. No Fata. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh, Venom is probably thinking about whether he should buy back and try. Oh no, he doesn't have enough gold if he buys back to get fruits of trial. Yeah, okay, that's that's probably why. Well, they still are holding on to one more of those cheese. It's still on a nine-second cooldown. Actually, is he going to die before it happens? Pops the BKB. He's still there inside the coil. They know he's here. But it wears off now. Still chasing. Yule Scepter lift up. He has the cheese available to him. Manta style running away. The stone boulder comes through. And now Ace. Yapsor dropping low. Is he going to end up dying? The four staff away forever running chasing. And they do lose Yapsor. They lose Puppy. Three heroes down. Secret on the verge of being eliminated from this one. And it looks like it might just happen. Immortals in a very comfortable position.
I, I've got to say, I'm really impressed with this Immortal team. We've seen them be able to, uh, you know, fight constantly, run at people, not take objectives, but this is a different type of game from them. This was one where they had to be patient and had to wait for that, you know, perfect moment. If they were diving the towers earlier on, they might have ended up losing this one and now in a very, very strong position. That to be fair, Kyo dive like once or twice, but yeah. overall everyone was pretty composed this game. They did what they needed to do to win the game. All right, jump forward. There's a catch. My god, the damage. Quite significant. They get the send back. Just barely keeping alive that Necro. And, well, now can they make anything else happen? It's a lot of those coils snapping, actually. Okay, Immortals need to take a moment to think about things. They blow up the Earth Spirit. All is not lost. Everybody from Secret is up. They don't have Metamorphosis, though. That's why they are very reluctant to fight. Scary stuff indeed. And yeah, the fresher is gone as well. Metamorphosis back up at 25 seconds. Puppy very low for F chasing. And a god comes out, keeping them a little bit more tanky now. And well, also gonna get the reflection out. Another blood right. There's a billion and ten of them out right now. The tier four towers though are starting to fall. Immortals, they smell blood, they want it desperately. Reaper sight their MP dropped low, but he's gonna live against his former team. Mid one turning again. They're trying to make this work. The Venom's gonna be forced to buy back right now. QO's still hitting everybody incredibly low, and Ace is finally going to fall. That is the Terra Blade gone for 80 seconds. One more couple of kills, and GG is called as Immortals are gonna be moving on in this tournament. Oh my god, the Korean Overlords. Victor is here. Classic game still. Very composed game. They had to be patient. In this game, they couldn't really force the game too much. Force kills because of how well Secret is playing. After the early game deficit, they were holding on to the games, pushing really well, and not giving too much of.